Hey guys, Stealthy here. Welcome back to From the Depths, which has been absent for a while. Um, we're back, and I first need to do some remodeling on my laser defense system, which, as some of you have pointed out, is uh, currently... well, let's not wrap it in <laughs> anything pretty. It's pretty trashy at the moment. It's, it's pretty much utter crap. We need to completely... well, maybe not completely, but mostly overhaul this thing just to make sure that it actually gets to working. Um, in order to do that, I'm probably not going to have to redo the whole thing. It's going to be... well, a few parts that need overhauling. Let's see, we were going to have for the missile system... no, sorry, for the laser system, energy weapons, we're going to need a connector... Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to need a connector here. And we're going to need the transceiver down here. And that is where we add the laser munition defense system. There. Now I'm going to set the range down to, mm, let's say, 200. Because underwater, apparently, laser damage is cut down pretty quickly. So we need to make sure that the laser actually remains effective at that distance. So not these multi-purpose systems, um, the connector, and then the laser munition defense systems. Disconnected? What do you mean disconnected? Why is that not working? Well, because we're missing one connector here. There, now you're connected. Okay, laser munition defense system. Range set to 200. Again, I hope that I never really have to rely on this missile defense system to actually defend the boat. But you never know. If it does happen, then at least in the bow and the stern we have some defenses. I may have to add some to the sides. But that's not really going to be too easy. Because I don't want them to protruding from this side or the other side. So that leaves uh, this section here. There's quite a bit of hole between, well, me and that. So, no, I'm not going to use that just yet. Let's see how the multipurpose laser is doing. Um, we should have enough AP. I don't know if we have enough stabilizers on here. I think we had a couple of these set up somewhere on the sides. Where did they go? Cavities, couplers... Where did I put those things? Destabilizers. I think I have enough destabilizers. Come on, shrink it down. Um, couplers, pumps. Where the hell are my destabs? Cavities. Oh, bloody hell. I always find it so damn tricky to try and get these things sorted out. These are destabilizers. One, two, three. Three, we can add... Yeah, we can add one more row. So we're going to have one more coupler. We're going to have a cavity. We're going to have a pump on there. And another destabilizer. Come on. Over there. Good boy. Okay, so that should theoretically be enough damage in order to deal with any incoming torpedoes. That's the plan, anyways. Uh, speaking of plans, what should I be working on from here on out, actually? Because I think the boat's not doing too bad. Well, aside from a hole in the stern, I believe. Uh, yeah, you're not supposed to see daylight through the stern. Uh, the boat's not doing too bad. We have pretty much all the systems that we need. So I think that we might be able to take on some more dangerous targets. Move on to some more dangerous waters. Let's see, does that fix the issue? Yep, I believe it does. 
Okay, so we need more dangerous areas. We have mining over there, we have resource over there, and we have a red gate here. That's good news. We can head there and then go after some targets. So we're going to have to make a turn. And with all the props that I have on here, this shouldn't be too much of a problem now. I'm just really wondering what my AI is tracking. Because it still seems to be firing. Actually, that just might be a sonar buoy. Yeah, it might be a sonar or a radar buoy. There goes another sonar buoy, launch of the starboard launcher. But it's set up to go the wrong way. Um, yeah, it's supposed to fire right, 45, so that works. This one. Left. This one should be minus 45. So I may have been looking at the wrong launcher. Now, that gate is well above sea level. So we're going to have to either get quite a bit closer to the surface or we're going to entirely miss the gate. So this is going to take a while. Actually, not that much. Look at how quickly we're gaining surface or we're gaining altitude. Minus 170, 165, 160. Not bad. I only hope that this thing dives as quickly as it wants to surface. If not, well, we run into anything and we're going to have issues. I do have munition warners on here, yeah? Uh, I don't. Well, that's a pretty big oversight. I don't have munition warners. So this means that without munition warners, I will not be able to detect any incoming torpedoes. As such, my whole missile laser defense system won't even work. So that's pretty shitty. No, we're not adding a stone block. Metal block. So we're going to need a few there. Um, I don't really have a lot of room left here. But maybe just enough. Munition warner. And we're going to add back one stone... Sorry, metal block. And... Down here at the stern, we're going to need another as well. So that's going to be the munition warner. And then the block. Okay, so now it can finally detect something. In the meanwhile, we are about to surface. Yep. We're powering through the water at about 8 meters per second. Ah, shit! It's an aerial gate. Oh, that's going to make this more difficult. Well, um, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to either have to add a lot of balloons to this thing in order to make it fly, or look for another gate. Neither options are particularly appealing. The other one's up there quite high as well, I believe. Another 2,000 supplies down there. 4,900? And this gate seems to be on the surface. Okay, we're going for that one. First, though, I want to get those supplies. I'm going to set the AI mainframe to go there. So that gate's somewhere way down there. Way down south. It's going to take us quite a while to get there. Do we have enough storage? Uh, we're looking at... Yep, there we go. We just picked it up. Uh, huh. Strap in for the long haul, because we're going to be here a while. Alright, two white points set. Let's not stick to the surface, because we are a submarine. And I'm not too comfortable on the surface. Now let's see if this thing dives as quickly as it wants to go up. 10 meters below, 11. Oh, we are detecting something. 13, 
We're sinking, albeit slowly. In the meanwhile, we're engaging something on the right front, starboard over there. Which is, by the looks of it, lobbing torpedoes back at me. And, as far as I'm concerned, that's a submarine. Altitude minus 41. Are my torpedoes set up to uh, handle that depth? Because I believe they're not. Ballast tanks. Yeah, they're set to float at 5. Okay, ignore that. Go and deal with these things. I think we may just get a bit of an unscheduled test of the missile defense system. It, oh, never mind. These things can't make it. How about my torpedoes? They're probably just harmlessly uh, sailing right over the enemy submarine. Yep, they're not getting deep enough. Despite the fact that there's a magnet in there, they are more or less restricted to 5 meters below surface. And as such, they simply cannot reach it. That is not so for the next set of missiles or torpedoes that I have launched. So this sprite should pretty quickly find that the next salvo of torpedoes is going to be a little bit more deadly than what he initially had expected. I believe that this is the next salvo of torpedoes, the ones that are adjusted. Here's his counterfire. Again, doesn't have anywhere near the range that it needs to in order to become a threat. Another set of torpedoes coming in. Again, sailing over harmlessly. Bloody hell, that thing has a massive RTG on there. RTG energy generation, 120,000 a minute. How much do we have? 18,000. 120,000? So, he has what? Uh, probably these things. And then... He has a metric ton of those things. Okay. Well, why not? Um, at some point, I think I'm going to need a secondary craft. One which can help me in order to just uh, gain resources. Something potentially fast. Something that can get over to sites where uh, destroyed craft have dropped resources, pick them up, and potentially come back. And... nope. <laughs> so, if you guys have a good... oh, there we go. If you guys have a good idea for a drone that can do that, let me know. Because I am uh, very inexperienced in the drone department. I have never meddled with these things. So I don't know what to expect. He's dead. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to build. I don't know what to do. Um, if you have any ideas for that, let me know. If you have any constructs that could help with that, that would be even better, and I'd be happy to feature them. So how much are you leaving behind? 4K. Sure. See, that's the problem. I'm uh, very, very big, and I would like to be able to go over there quickly with a smaller craft that just picks it up and potentially either delivers it home or uses it for uh, own resource storage. That's it. Now I think that that's, for the moment, the only craft that was out there. A few torpedoes quickly took care of that thing. In the meanwhile, our depth is doing okay. We're at minus 171. Which means that the PID is probably not quite acting up to what it should be doing. I have set it to minus 140. Minus 180. Do we have a hole in the hull somewhere? Is that the problem? Also, why do I have this? Or at least a mirror mode accident. Um... I'd say that these sections are not flooded. Hang on, this pump is not really doing much. Because it has one cubic meter volume. Can I just not seal off the hull a bit more? 
I know that this doesn't actually do anything, but I think it's just weird that you can see daylight through the side of the hole there. So long as these sonar buoys work, I'm happy. Now, where did that pump go? There's one. That's the pump in, well, basically the con room. How about using a couple of, um, I think it's glass blocks. No, light blocks. Completely ethereal, but allow connections. These should allow... Well, that looks a bit unusual. Um, these should allow me to just seal off parts of the hull into compartments. Allowing for a few more pockets of air. I know that that doesn't really do much for my buoyancy. But... Wait, what? thought I could see... No, oh, never mind. thought I could see daylight. Um, it doesn't really do a whole lot for uh, my buoyancy, but it allows for a couple of separate sections to be created in order to deal with potential breaches in the hull. Again, we're just talking eventualities. If that happens, I want to be able to just seal off sections of the hull and still have some level of buoyancy. So let's create a couple of sections here. Uh, we're going to need one of those ethereal blocks over there. So one metal up there, a two meter beam down, and then we're going to need one of those light blocks. Like that. It looks quite unusual. And we need a couple of 2 meter beams here, if I'm not mistaken. Right, now we can add an air pump. Nope, it still has a breach somewhere. There. Is that it? That is not it. Then what is? Where is my hole? Because there is definitely something amiss here. Hmm. Where did that go? Where's my leak? This is weird. It's not up to these things, I think. Well, we could test that. What? You still have a connection? You still have a connection. Okay. It's still breached. Hmm. No idea where. Well, let's see if we can find some of the other sections. might be able to make the whole front a section. So, a couple of blocks here. Jeez, where do you start? You know what? Screw it. <coughs> It'll have to do. Now, it seems that we're still launching some sonar buoys left and right. And meanwhile, getting ready to pick up some resources. By the time we get all this, we're looking at six and a half, uh, about eight and a half thousand. Currently, I have well about fifteen in store, so we're going to need a bit more room. Where did I park those large storage containers? There, like that. Now we have room for forty k, fifty six thousand. Our own ship costs 33,000. So, if I get enough, I could potentially build a second submarine, the same size, the same capabilities as this one. I'm just not sure if I need something that big.
in order to fulfill the purpose that I have in mind, which is as a secondary boat, which can also attack, which can also go after enemies on its own, and which can get resources. And then again, a craft like that might not be the requirement, might not be what we really need at the moment. Maybe a flyer of some sort is better. But really, so far I've only built submarines in this game. Um, I'm not well versed at all in flyers. They usually tip over, they go sideways. Um, if they do actually manage to fly, then usually what happens is that they get blown up really, really quickly. Which again, it's not really what we need. We're still plowing through the water at well, a little over 9 meters per second. It's about 30 kilometers per hour, or about, uh, I'd say, 20 miles an hour, give or take. Not particularly quickly. Hang on, we have a target? What do we have? Ooh, you're fast. What are you? You're not particularly big. I can barely get that thing on the screen. 4,000 materials? Yeah, speed 87 meters per second. Really quick. Probably has no idea where I am. Is it being targeted? Does my AI know it's there? Oh, this again. Why do I have so many mainframes? really messing up here on the mainframe department. We might have to clean this thing up as well. It's because recently I added quite a few more of these things. They need to be physical connectors, not mainframes. I don't even know where the original mainframe is. I believe it's somewhere in the back here. But where? Shrink it down, see if we can find it. Do we even have a mainframe at this point, or did I delete too much? Hello, mainframe. Hmm. Yep, this is probably it. Mainframe. There we go. Main CPU. Uh, this means that all of these things are connected to the main CPU. I'm going to remove this block. And the reason for that is that I want that thing a bit closer. I want to be able to see it from my command seat. So I know what it's doing. So this was the main CPU. It has access to 19, it needs 14, so it's working perfectly. Everything's connected to the main. It has plenty of power here. But I really dislike what this thing has grown into. This behemoth of a mainframe. That might be something for another project. Maybe next episode, just redesigning the whole mainframe to make sure it doesn't turn into this well, monstrosity of a construction. Uh, let's get... Why are you not moving? You're in control. Thank you. Keep moving. Still 5k in resources there that I want. Okay, so we have our required depth. We have no targets to shoot at. I could install a few more props to speed up this process of moving around. How do these things immediately know what to do? That's probably because the AI is using them. It's using the boat to control them. Let's see, we're keeping our power in check. We're losing a little bit of power and adding four props only gained us four meters per second. Still, that's about a 50% speed increase. 
so that's well enough. And let's see if we can already see these gates below us, or above us, actually, to the south, I mean. Whoa! There's one, there's the other one. Both of them at sea level. Okay, we're going to pick up the resources and then get going. We're going to go for, I think, this gate. This would be easier. This gate seems to be a little bit more deeply oriented than this one. So that's the target after we pick up the resources. Hopefully we're not going to get disturbed by any of these things, especially as we get close to the surface. He seems awfully lonely up there. But that's his problem. I'm not going to move over there and keep him company. And the other bit of resource there, 1400. Well, not too interested in those. wonder what we're going to find on the other side of that gate. What sort of uh, terrors from the deep are going to come up next? Now, um, since there's not a whole lot to do, we could go on a painting spree here. Hang on, this is not really the deep dark black I had in mind, I think. There. That's it. Again, it doesn't really do anything for detection or for uh, making the boat more stealthy, but I think submarines are just supposed to be dark. So that if somebody's looking down at them, they're going to not see anything. And yes, I know I'm going to have to have several sections that I need to do from inside the boat. Like these little blocks here. There. Come on, all of you. Laser missile defense. The blocks underneath them. We're gonna have to do the AI connectors as well. Bow side. I think that pretty much covers it. Of course, all of these blocks, for some reason they're, they're single blocks, which is the rubber issue. You cannot make larger beams of rubber blocks. I think this is because their purpose is to just bounce. Oh well. Come on, where's the other block? Is that it? Nope. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Awaiting new order. All right, we picked up the resources. Now we're going to have to get a little close to the surface. Moving now. Moving now. Where is my PID? Make your death 30 meters. Whoa. Let's not abandon the chair. This thing really wants to go to the surface. Diving is not something that it does particularly well. I think that's pretty much screenshot worthy material, don't you think? Might make for a nice new uh, thumbnail. Yes, I know. Preferably without the interface. There we go. Okay, depth. 44 meters, 40 meters, there's the gate. We're going to take control of the boat. Taking command. Come left. Left, left, left. More left. Maintain speed. could even retain, if I want to, a little bit of depth as I'm going there. And that might not be a luxury that I want to skip over. Come left. Steady. Steady. 
Now, on to more dangerous areas, bigger targets, and potentially the requirements of having shielding on this boat, which I think could make another nice addition to it. Radiation level's critical, and off we go. There we are. There's nothing around yet. And that's a good thing. This is where I'm going to leave you. We're going to end up now in more dangerous areas, meaning more dangerous targets, as well as uh, potentially a lot more loot. Let me know where you want me to take this thing next. And this thing, I mean the whole video series. And if you have any uh, pre-made constructs, sub-objects that I can use, as well as, uh, let's say, prefabs for, um, let's say, drones, something along those lines, let me know how to do that. Let me know how to work it, and um, I can have your creation inside this video series next. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.